make intense eye contact with the camera so it won't intimidate you. So today I would like to talk about changing and changing yourself and your habits. It has not exactly been a strong suit for me. I am currently struggling with weight control, my nails, my hair, my cleanliness. Not on my body, my house. I was thinking the other day about how I made some resolutions. January time, definitely fallen off that wagon. And I was thinking, okay, I need to get my life together in terms of getting these habits taken care of. So then whenever something like this comes up, I go to my boyfriend and I go, hey, I want to make a change. And he goes, good point, but do you want to make the change more than you want to continue your normal habits. I usually go, no, I would much rather sit on the couch and do nothing because half the time really can't be bothered to do anything else. But I always thought that because my thought process was that I would like to do nothing rather than do something on a daily basis, that I couldn't change my wants. I can't change my wants and I'm just going to slowly go into this hit that I'm digging myself. So currently I am on the mindset of make myself want to make change more than I want to stay the same. I want to get a tattoo on my wrist that simply says don't do it and that'll help me quit my habits and then when I quit all the habits that I don't want to do I can work on the habits that I do want to develop and then when my tattoo says don't do it, I can get another one crossing out don't and putting just on it. And then I will forever have a meme on my wrist. Do it! So anyways, here's a few things that I like to do when I'm in my mindset of wanting to make changes. And maybe these would help you out. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. So the first thing I usually take care of is my phone. Your phone, unfortunately, is going to be something you look at a lot, unless you're able to make the habit of not picking up your phone every like 30 seconds to check stuff. Make whatever apps you use the most less accessible. I know it's not as easy if you have an iPhone, but if you have an Android like me, you can take your Facebook and your Twitter and your YouTube apps off of your main screen just so that it is a little more of a task to get to them and when you open up your phone they are not going to be the first thing you see because if they are the first thing you see you're just going to want to click on them and then i tend to set up background with like a motivational message or just some words that might keep me going like even if it is just do it or if you have shia labeouf as your screensaver. Next thing I do is post notes wherever I am of just little bits of words that might also motivate me. It might be the same thing as on my phone, it might be different ones. Like when I really wanted to save money to move out of my parents' house, I would make a note like, if you can keep your room clean all the time, just think of how great it'll be to keep your own place clean all the time. My house isn't clean. That note was a joke still stuff is nice to read like I don't know I would have a note whenever I went to bed I would see that said did you do your best today I feel like it did motivate me for quite some time right now I'm gonna have a note right by my bedroom door that I can see every day that's gonna say you are in control of your body because right now I want to work on my weight if you can utilize any kind of fitness app you have in your phone the one I have I would set to like every single hour that I know I'm not gonna be at work just have it every single hour like are you being active this is like the amount of stuff you want to do today and it would tell me like 10 more minutes of uh, whatever exercise or movement and you'll have reached your daily goal now the only thing I am still struggling with is consistency on this because I'll do it for about three or four or five days and then I end up having a day where I can't do it and so I end up skipping stuff and then it's just gone forever anyways it's hard for me to stay consistent with my habits so in terms of that if anyone out there has any advice please let me know and let me know if any of the stuff i've said is useful to you this is about all i have to say on it and i'm noticing i have a basket of laundry i could be putting away anyways i'm gonna go talk to you guys later
running around. Just waiting for him to get out of there.